hey 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 welcome to my channel my name is Paula and in today's video we are gonna dive in to four luxury brands that no one talks about I love discovering new brands well new to me <laughs> brands and just like delving in, reading of their history, looking at their aesthetics, even if it wouldn't be my own style. And um, I have come across four luxury brands that truly no one talks about on YouTube. And I don't mean like Moinat or uh, Fogle Le Page, because I feel like those brands have been lifted in these type of videos before, but they are discussed in the YouTube world. I mean actual brands that I've never heard of, I've never seen anyone talk about. And I feel like they were new to me, maybe they are new to you, and if not, please let me know where you've run into these. They would be super interesting to know. I will have my laptop here because some of the names I do not know how to pronounce even. I need to have a voice, <laughs> voice assistance, I'm <laughs> sorry, um, with, with some of these. So uh, there is one brand from Spain and then three brands from France. Surprise, surprise. And probably there is so many other brands in the world, the luxury brands that I haven't heard of. But this video is going to be introducing four of them. And we are going to start with the one that started it all. And it is called, wait a moment. Reliquiae. I'm assuming that's how you're pronouncing it. Reliquiae. <laughs> so it is Spanish or in Latin culture, it means relic. And um, I stumbled across this brand and I was like, okay, what is it? I tried to Google it and the only like people I saw wearing this brand is a Spanish royalty. So the royalty are using this brand. Why are we not talking about it? They have some great usable bags. They also have a home section. Looking at these prices, they definitely are competing with luxury brands in my opinion here. And for instance, this Archie bag, is beautiful it's super classic and elegant all the like elements are there it's beautiful uh the bag that the royalty were caught wearing is this archie bag which comes in many colors and um and sizes as well and it has this kind of two-tone thing in some of the colors is really really beautiful so there is also their own canvas that they have tote bags, never full competition. Hello, if someone is now bothered of the never full pricing. Although when we look at some other brands here, there is also a lot of alternatives for never full with a lot better price point, I tell you. But I think the Irma bag, Irma, how the Spaniards pronounce it, that's actually pretty cool as like a crossbody with those like different type of shapes and how the leather is sewn. I think it looks interesting and there is many different colors of this and probably also quite practical, I would assume. But yeah, so there is like really lovely selection of handbags with this brand. And yeah, I mean, I'm just, I don't know how popular this then is any, anywhere, <laughs> but if royalty is wearing, that should be some kind of stamp of approval, don't you think? Next brand is called Le Tanneur. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And this fashion house was established in 1898. So what is this? 130 years old? 100, 125 years old? ish so very old fashion house fading quality and items that stand for the test of time has always been in the core of their business now if we look at their bags itself the price point is pretty good like these are in the contemporary round these are leather bags 
very classic styles and colors like they have this a lot of like black and then tanned leather for instance these jewelry cases i don't know what to say they kind of speak to me comparing to other brands just in general like cosmetic cases the price point in this is like really good if you would want something beautiful good quality on on like show at home but they also produce beautiful leather tote bags like full leather ones that definitely compete in the price point with louis vuittons and goyards and like everything it's just beautiful i feel like all almost all of these bags that they have on their site are very timeless and the colors are something that goes with everything and it's funny like i've never heard of this and it is almost 130 years old so this is something that france has been like able to keep a secret i guess <laughs> um but it's just like beautiful leather pieces just absolutely gorgeous and um I don't know have you heard of this or am i just some kind of weirdo who's just waking up into something next one is rsvp paris and this i would say is not a similar type of uh they have uh, over a hundred years of history behind them uh they are a more like newer brand but they completely have the uniqueness uh, in their idea because they only produce 500 pieces of each of their item and then they number them so when you buy something it is one out of 500 so if you truly want to have something exclusive unique i would say this would be the brand and um, they also they are very environmentally conscious of when they are producing anything for the consumers so they also do repurchase their old stuff back and then fix them up and resell them so they kind of do this type of like fashion circulation which i think is beautiful and i love when different brands do that that they understand that people do sometimes also then sell their items when they get tired of it or if they can't fit in it if it's a clothing item or something like that so i think it is beautiful if the brand itself recognizes this trend that or the direction that we are going as consumers where we actually are also happy to buy pre-owned um, but also are happy to put our stuff back into circulation that they buy back their own stuff repair them and then sell them again um this brand has a store in paris and i think in in some other place in asia maybe um and they also do offer a repair repair service from for items that have been purchased from their shop online or, or otherwise so uh if something happens to your item they repair it and i think that's wonderful and they i would say that the website is maybe not as like elegant that's my subjective opinion of like the fonts and how things have been positioned but who cares right um so i really like this duo v2 style of bag i think this looks like really classic crossbody it has like two sections very like plain looking but probably very good quality leather and um, it just looks easy to use that's just like how i would say it comes with a crossbody strap you can like shorten it make it longer etc so i definitely like this looks really nice and then this low five bag uh, that i was looking at kind of reminds me of this selena bag as well a bit uh, but i mean this also looks quite practical it's a bucket bag style but to avoid the problem with bucket bags <laughs> that everything is just in one big hole this actually has pockets also on the outside where you can like maybe put your stuff and it's easier to find them but it's it's beautiful and i think and i read somewhere from their website that they actually uh do gold plate their hardware with real gold so that's also quite a nice touch 
And the last brand I want to talk with you about is called Maison Muro. I don't know. I will spell it on the screen as I have with the other ones. And this was established in 1882. And they also started in this like trunk business, <laughs> same as Louis Vuitton. So probably they were a bit on a competition back then. This is also a brand that has a history behind it over a hundred years. And I just, I'm learning about it now. It's crazy. Um, they started doing these trunks, as mentioned, and with that they created their own pattern, which they are now then using in their handbags, as do all of, basically, the more popular luxury brands as well. And um, their most popular bag is this Saint-Tropez tote, which looks exactly like a Neverfull, but this is 50% less money. Um, and I feel like if you would be looking for something a bit more unique in the tote market, this could be it. I feel like if you are into canvas, if not, if you would want leather, then uh, we talked about <laughs> that brand as well that has really amazing priced leather totes. Uh, but the saint Tropez tote comes in three sizes, for instance, and the price difference is not really that big between those different sizes. So it's more like what, what you need. But I think the GM is quite big, if I'm completely honest looking at the measurements. The blue is quite beautiful and they say that that is their like uh, signature blue. So probably that color has a meaning for them. They have this their own canvas which they produce in different colors. I personally really like the white version which I found for instance with the men's side with different like portfolios <laughs> and pouches and such. And then I also liked this suit junior bag, which reminds in shape with the same one that quite many popular brands also have. Uh, and it comes also with a crossbody strap and, and beautiful colors on the leather, I have to say. Um, and just like very bright and rich, rich colors. Um, so I just, I was kind of most mesmerized by this brand maybe i don't know why uh somehow it was just calling <laughs> i don't know so what do you think have you heard of this i really wanted to make a video introducing brands that are completely new to me and that i haven't heard basically anyone talking about ever and of course that doesn't mean that that hasn't happened <laughs> i haven't watched every luxury youtube video that there is but I feel like there are certain like usual suspects that are brought up in these videos, some more frequently than others, but still like same brands are mentioned. And um, I just like, when I stumbled across uh, the Spanish brand, Reliquii. I kind of got motivated and inspired to dig a bit deeper of what brands actually there are that I would be interested and fascinated about that maybe you don't know either. So then we can educate ourselves and just like know and learn a bit more about fashion as well, because there is so much out there. Every brand has their own story and history and signature and just like their own aesthetics. And I see, I think we see enough of the type of brands that we do <laughs> so i just thought it would be nice to introduce something new but do please let me know if these are not new to you thank you for watching see you in my next video bye